What up YouTube? In this video I'm going to share my experience interviewing at the Emory School of Medicine as well as a few things I learned from touring the amazing Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I'm currently applying for medical school and as I begin my medical journey I want to share this with you all with hopes of motivating and inspiring you across your own personal journeys. Be sure you subscribe and tap that bell. New videos come in every week. You're not going to want to miss them. So I recently had the pleasure of interviewing at the Emory School of Medicine and this interview was particularly eye-opening for a multitude of reasons, but I was able to really get a better sense of healthcare disparities and ultimately how a lot of these factors end up influencing the patient experience. I was also able to be blown away by some incredible architecture at Emory and have y'all seen Atlanta's airport? The interview at Emory was very similar to those of the other schools that I've been to. Make sure you check out my medical school interview playlist if you haven't to see my experiences at other schools. But there was again an orientation, we had a tour of the facilities, we had a lunch accompanied by medical students. But with regards to the actual interview format, there was one unique twist. Emory's interview consists of two traditional interviews and one group interview, similar to the Northwestern interview format that I described in the previous video. But with the group interview, it was different than any other experience I've had. So there were three interviewers sitting across from three applicants. What? And these interviewers would all ask their own individual questions to all three of us, and then each of us would have time to answer them individually. Not everybody would always go first or last, so the order in which we answered would change. But it was very interesting to be able to not only be in my own interview, but be in like another applicant's interview almost. You know, being able to kind of see how they answer those questions and it's also a little more nervous to know that they're seeing how I'm answering those questions. So it's a very, very unique experience, but I actually quite liked it. Now, outside of the interview, another critical component of the interview day included a tour of the Grady Memorial Hospital. Now, this hospital is very historic and renowned and it's located in Atlanta, Georgia, and the students at Emory spend a large amount of their time at this hospital and so during the interview the school wants to make sure that students are aware of the setting in which they'll spend so much time. During our tour we were actually able to walk through the neuro ICU that's intensive care unit as well as the um, neonatal unit and so I don't know the reasoning behind bringing us to these two specific places but it was a unique experience being able to walk through a unit that is so representative of joy and life being brought into this world and kind of juxtaposing that with walking through a unit that oftentimes deals with death and life ending and so this experience really put into perspective the all-encompassing influence that medicine and hospitals have throughout individual lives. I know for me the emotional weight of having a patient who's not experiencing good outcomes is going to be one of the hardest parts along this journey of me becoming a physician and then along my practice. I'd be curious to know from you guys what do you think is the hardest part of being a doctor or what do you think you personally would struggle most with? Let me know in the comments below. Now Grady is one of the largest public hospitals in the country and one of the busiest level one trauma centers as well. And with them being located in the center of Atlanta, a majority African American population, they also embrace a mission directed towards the underrepresented and underserved. I have also never seen as many African American physicians in one hospital as I did at Grady. And these physicians are oftentimes either faculty at Emory or Morehouse. Now I bring this up because I'm pretty passionate about healthcare disparities, particularly those relating to race. A few years ago, the AAMC reported that more black men applied and matriculated to medical school in 1976 than in 2014. Oh Lord! Are you kidding me? This staggering stat in the relatively low numbers of black physicians has true implications for patients. It has been well reported that patients oftentimes have better experiences with physicians that they can identify with and these better experiences may also lead to better actual health outcomes. This idea has been referred to as patient-physician race concordance. 
And studies have shown that not only do patients have better experiences when their physician is the same race or ethnicity as them, but they have also shown that patients are more likely to seek preventative care, to seek continuous care, and to seek their provider in the cases of new medical illnesses when their physician is of the same race. As a black man, learning in this environment may be especially fulfilling and having mentors and other faculty members in which I can better identify with can just elevate my educational experience that much more. It seems like every school I interview at has a few distinguishing factors that just draw me closer towards that school but ultimately it just makes me feel that much happier about the schools that I'm interviewing at because I know wherever I go, I'm going to be happy and I'm going to get an incredible education. Again, make sure you check out my medical school interview playlist where I go over my experience interviewing at varying other schools as well as a complete discussion of every interview format you can expect to see when applying to med school. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps, it's really appreciated. Make sure you subscribe, tap that bell. New videos come in every Saturday and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Keep evolving and I'll see you guys next time.